everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and as you can tell from the title, today I'm doing a chatty, chill, get ready with me. I really wanted to give you guys an update from my previous get ready with me, so I guess you could kind of call this a part two in a way. Um, because as you can also tell from the title, I'm going to be moving to London at the end of the year. Let's just get started. I'm first just applying my Cerave moisturiser and it's got SPF in it, which is very important. I am going to be moving to London at the end of the year, which is a huge shift from my like part one get ready with me um obviously in the first one i spoke to you guys a lot about how i'm doing online acting courses and how university wasn't the right path for me at that period in my life that was because i just felt that i couldn't find a course i actually was genuinely interested in and the only reason why i wanted to go to university was for the social aspect and i felt like that wasn't a good enough reason to go to university i don't want to pay nine thousand pound a year just to have a social aspect but I know that genuinely did affect me not having one. All of my friends went to university, my boyfriend was at university, and I did start to feel kind of isolated and it did start to get to me a bit, which is why I decided to talk to you guys and get ready with me, just in case any of you could relate. And I did actually have some people DMing me saying, you know what, me too, but I know that university is not the path for me. And I've always said that I would consider going to university. It just wasn't at that point in my life that I felt like I should go. I originally found a drama school in London but the campus hadn't actually been built yet and this was last year when I was like transitioning and gonna go to uni. I didn't want to go to a school that hadn't been built yet, like I didn't know what it would entail, I didn't know what it would look like and obviously I wanted to go somewhere knowing what the final result would be, which is why I decided not to go to that university. I also felt that I needed that year to kind of figure my life out. I don't feel like that gets spoken about enough. When people take gap years, it's usually like, you should be using that time to travel. Um, I use that time to think. Obviously, throughout my gap year, I started a podcast with my friends. I started this channel, which I'm so grateful for. And I also did online acting courses. So I was productive in my time off. But again, the whole isolating aspect just felt like I needed more and especially if I'm going to go into acting I needed to have experience, I needed to be with people, I needed to be performing with other people and I needed the criticism, I needed people telling me what I was doing right, what I was doing wrong if I wanted to go any further and although the screen acting course did allow self tapes on a regular month so you could get criticism from people within the industry, I need more experience interacting with other actors. Um, so this is when I went back to the London school and I was like let's find out if it's been built yet. My friend actually was the one who told me that it had been built and it had been finished and the result was really good. It looked amazing, it looked intimidating, but it looked amazing and I was really, really excited for it. And that's when I kind of realized, wait, I'm excited to go. Like that should mean that I want to, there's that thing inside of me being like, imagine if I went now. A huge reason why I was unsure was because this year, um, well, this year, we've only like four days into it, but um, last year and this year is very different from what anyone could ever expect. And I've kind of got used to it in a way, constantly being at home, being surrounded by like my animals, my family, like I've enjoyed being at home. Um, obviously, I wish I could be with my friends and I wish I could be experiencing, you know, life with them, making memories, having the summer I was supposed to have and all of that. I'm gonna go from being in like comfort and normality. If I was stressed about anything, my mum would just be downstairs and my cat is like so dependent on me. Like he's got some sort of like social anxiety attachment issues. I don't know what's going on, but I love him nonetheless. And if you can also tell from my channel, we've also got two new puppies and they were all factors, but they, they weren't not good enough but that shouldn't be a reason why you stop moving forward. And I had this huge fear of change and it just is really intimidating to me picking up my life and moving somewhere else. That is the scariest thing I can think of. But the fact that I started to feel more excited than scared was a huge sign to me that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And also the school itself is audition based. So the fact that I basically just sat in my bedroom, I did a monologue of a film that I absolutely love, Someone Great. Comment below if you watch that because me and my best friend absolutely love Someone Great. Um, so I did a monologue from there and they thought I was good enough to get into this London school. So I'm actually going to show you my friend's reactions because my boy I told my boyfriend and then he was like, 
no, you should do. You should film everyone's reactions. So I seem to have everyone's reactions except his. Um, and obviously I don't have my family. I basically got this call that the admissions team basically rang me up and said, hi, just to let you know your audition tape has been successful. Um, you just need to fill out UCAS and you're in. So I basically just ran downstairs. It was just like overwhelming the thought of moving to London. And when I was a little kid, I always dreamt of imagine pursuing acting in London. And it just felt so far fetched. And I used to watch all these YouTubers like doing London vlogs. And I was like, London is such a vibe. <laughs> and I didn't think that I'd be here. So I told my friends and these are all their reactions except my boyfriend's because he was the one who gave me the idea after I told him. He's so proud of you. <laughs> oh my god, my best friend's gonna be a fifth actress. I literally can't believe you've got in. Come by, congratulations, Jalen. You're one step closer to achieving what you want in life, and deserve it. You'll be crushed to it, you'll love it. That is literally the coolest thing ever. Like, holy shit. That's, that's so dope. That is, like, so fucking cool. Like, holy shit. reactions I just thought it was so sweet um that video honestly makes me so so happy um and it made me kind of like feel you know what this is what I'm supposed to be doing everyone was so proud obviously I'm proud of myself as well but everyone was so happy for me I thought you know what I'm, I'm doing the right thing I'm very much the type of person who gets like reassurance from other people um which isn't a good thing I don't recommend but hearing my friends being so excited for me and think, you know what, you are one step closer to everything that you've wanted to do um, really made me think, you're right, I am one step closer to everything that I've wanted to do. Whenever I have anxiety about it, that's what I hold on to and think, you know what, they picked me and they picked me for a reason and I would be letting my younger self down, I'd be letting my current self down if I turned an opportunity like that away just because I was worried. And if worse comes to worse and I get there and I make no friends and I'm unhappy and I hate it, which I really hope I won't and I really don't think I will, I can come home. It's not like the be all and end all and there is no shame in dropping out if you're not happy, like for your own mental health. If you can't be there anymore, don't be there anymore. Don't put yourself in that sort of situation um, where you're driving yourself insane just because of the guilt and the label of dropping out of uni it doesn't matter well it shouldn't matter but i know to some families you know every family is different and di people have different opinions but you know something i am really excited about though which is so stupid because i had like five thoughts that came to me straight away and one of them was the content for my youtube channel because i've always watched like moving london vlogs but now I'll be able to actually do it. That's pretty crazy. The homework halls, my little uni room tour, whatever. There's something that does actually make me kind of concerned is the fact that, um, you know, when you go to a university and you get given like a dorm room or like a block or something, we have to like go on a uni accommodation website and choose our own accommodation. So I really hope I'm with other students who are doing the same course as me or at least going to the same school. Because if it's just accommodation in London, there are so many other schools in London, do you know what I mean? So there could be loads of different people there. That's something that makes me anxious. I want to make sure I know who's there before I get there. Obviously, I do have loads of concerns, obviously lying with leaving my family and leaving my animals and, you know, normal things that people worry about. And that's why I'm thinking, you know what, I've watched all of my friends do it. Maybe they haven't gone as far or maybe they've gone even further, um, but they've done it. I can do it. And I'm just gonna not let my worries get the best of me. Obviously, I will 
vlog the process as much as possible for everyone for the people who are going specifically to London or just you know going to uni and want to see what that transition looks like um I'm hoping that my experience will be better because it will be at the end of 2021 but obviously we've ended 2021 pretty much with the same issues I mean we all knew it wasn't going to go away but I didn't really think we'd be in a national lockdown to be honest I mean we should be right decision but it all feels a bit late um so yeah, I hope that by the time I actually go to university, I'll be able to maybe do like freshers and stuff like that. Probably not to that extent, but you know, just like have the opportunity to socialize with people, mix with good people, make new friends. I'm hoping that I still have that sort of experience. And I really hope we're not being sent home and being brought back and sent home because I feel so bad for like 2020 students right now. It's just all really confusing, especially because we've just been put into a national lockdown like are they supposed to be at uni they're not supposed to be at uni what's going to be the best for their mental health and they're supposed to be making these last minute decisions because the government are making last minute decisions i guess being in a national lockdown has meant that i get to you know spend quality time with my family considering i'll be gone and i won't be here i'm also excited for christmases in london like imagine how pretty it's gonna be i'm also going to be continuing with my online acting courses because even though um, I've secured a place at a school. Those screen acting courses have been really helpful to me and they've really helped me understand the industry a bit more. So I'm gonna definitely continue with those. And because I'm not actually going until September, I mean, things could again change because of what happens later in the year. Um, but I'm still planning on, you know, going normal time September. So that gives me from now to January until September. I'm gonna continue with my channel. Obviously I'm gonna be continuing even when I'm at drama school um and i'm going to be continuing with the podcast etc etc so i figured like within that i might as well continue with my screen acting especially if it's helpful to me and i also paid for a year of the course which means that it doesn't even finish until this year october um so i guess it's kind of good that you know the timing september october that's when i move um and then as soon as that course goes away i'll then be focusing on my course in London. Taking this year off that I have taken, I just want people to make people clear that I am so glad that I did it. I don't regret a single thing about taking the year off. Obviously the experience wouldn't have been the same if I was going to university with this whole pandemic going on. Um, and I'm really glad it meant I had more time to spend quality time with my family. It meant I got to start this channel, I got to start my podcast. Um, I got to do the screen acting courses, build up more experience. It gave me time to like decide if this was something I genuinely wanted to do. Um, so I just really want to push that. So people who in my previous video were like, oh my God, I'm so glad you're doing the same. We're in the same position. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I regret that and that's the wrong choice to make. I still 100% recommend if if it's necessary and you don't want, if there's no way you want to go, you don't want to go to uni, uni is not for you. It's okay. Um, and I hope you do take that time like I have done. And if you don't end up going to uni, you don't end up going to uni. But this was just my personal choice because... I wanted to perform with real people, not just people on the screen. And I needed to get away. I needed to experience new people, new life, new circumstances, new challenges, and all of that hoo-ha. So I'm gonna finish my makeup off camera and then I'm gonna close the end of this video. Right, I've done my makeup and that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this little get ready with me. Um, I'm really excited to move to London. I can't wait to document everything. Um, the only thing I'm scared about right now is like, how the hell do you get around London? Because the tubes and everything just really confuse me. Um, so if anyone's watching this and you're from London by any chance, can you help me out? Because <laughs> I'm confused. Um, but yeah, I'll try and do my research. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. <laughs>